Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I started it. A's Eclipse in the building with Team Ruthless Podcast, episode number three? Three. Three, three, three. is three. You missed three. one. Oh, you were there in spirit, Fuck. though. You were there. Yeah, we talked <laughs> about you. Yeah. Not any good things, but I had a dream that I was here. I oh, it must have been a good dream. A if I was dream. in it. <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Episode three though, it's been two weeks. We missed last week because of me. I think. Nah, it was, of it was a combination of all of us. To yeah. Be honest. yeah, I'll take the hit though. Life kind of got in the way. Life, <laughs> well, life is number one. Family life first. for sure, because I turned thirty, so I definitely. Oh, you're yeah. old now. Old timer though. Old timer. I'm like two years away. <laughs> I'm a baby. How old are you again? How How old are you thinking? Uh, I know I guessed wrong the first time. Yeah. You're like 23, right? 23, yeah. Okay. okay. Damn, you old as shit, too. <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. I remember being 23, man. You're blinking, then you'll be 30. You know what I was doing at 23? I remember being 23 as well. <laughs> I was fucking bitches and getting money at 23. Yeah, man. Cue the airport. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, so uh, a lot of shit happened. Again, it's been two weeks. I want to talk about the Fortnite 3 mail. And my question to you guys, well, mostly you, Mr. Three Kids. Hmm. Yeah, uh, they can play all they want. You now. got them in training They can yet? play all day long. Oh, they're always sending me invites on PlayStation. Except I'm my <laughs> oldest. He's been bad in school, and it's only been two days. So that he can't play. Right. But, yo, my youngest, <laughs> he's four years old, and he gets on there, bro, and he be... He don't be counting a lot, but he be surviving. That's all that matters. Like, you, know, you, you know what I mean? He knows, sure I'm young. I play Apex in a in a uh, cause Apex my Xbox in the living room. Mm-hmm. PS4 is in the room, so um I'll be playing Apex and he comes out there and he's like, Dad, the circle's coming. <laughs> so kind of, I'm like, what? He's like circle, circle, circle. I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> and I'm like, oh damn the circle. I'm like, oh damn. okay. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. But no, three million, bro. Three million, dude. Three million. They took half of that, I heard though. But still, one point five. What they took half of that? They took half. What, of like that. taxes or something? Taxes. Taxes. I'd be like, all right, cool, oh. but you gotta fly me out to the next event and pay for everything. Well, that's the thing about that. Okay. But no, but they did that though. What? Well, not for not not for uh, I was it the Fortnite? They they flew everybody out there, paid for the flights and their hotels. What? Really? Yeah. The, the, I I, no, I that. think that, that maybe that was for the Call of Duty. Maybe. Might have been the Call of Duty. Shit. The Call of Duty stuff. I and know. I was like, damn, dude. I mean, with $3 million on the line, they could have flown everyone out. I there. mean, and the well, stadium yeah. that they played in was fucking massive. Yeah, it was, I, I saw highlights of it. It was like, crazy. Wow. Yeah. It looked like a, like a, a football, football game. Stadium. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it was like. And the commentators, <laughs> they were like, it's it's funny to me watching like uh, esports, like. Listening to the commentators, mm-hmm. they sound like they're commenting on like sports and stuff. Like, oh, he's going yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My girl yeah, was watching Evo with me, and she hates it. She was like, she was like, they all sound nerds. It's just like a video game. Da, 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 da. I was like, these people get money though, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I get the money, you get my time. I kind of miss when like, <laughs> like back in the day when commentating was like heavy, and there was just like a bunch of like not heavy, but. You know, the whole fighting tournament shit was kind of still... Not new, yeah, but... Yeah, but it was popping. It was yeah, it was like, training, yeah, like underground-ish. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. had normal kids doing that shit. And they were just hyping that shit up, yeah. bro. You had the best moments. They were just saying dumb shit. Wombo Combo! Or some shit. <laughs> or um, the fucking Marvel vs. Capcom 3, bro. I remember this bro, clip. Bro, button mash like crazy. Yeah, man. bro. But this fucking... This guy was just yelling, Bionic Arm! Every time the dude was doing it, bro. <laughs> That's what I like to see. I like the <laughs> moments, bro. Yeah. I like um, I like all that stuff, man. Like, and I just feel like if if like if I could invest time, yeah, that's the to just play. I know I could. Be I'm about to learn Street bro. Fighter to bust these people ass. Never. Street Fighters, no, you have to play for like ten years. If Lupe shit. can do it, I can do Jump it. Jump in the fucking <laughs> hyperbolic time chamber. And if Lupe Fiasco can do it, I could do it, bro. Yeah, but he's no got time to do it. That's See, true. but no matter, how work, good, no matter how good, no matter how good, his work is music. <laughs> no matter how good you think you are at something, there's a kid somewhere in the world who'll kick your Hell ass. Hell yeah, a Fortnite kid was 16, bro. Three million. And everybody would think one point five million. million. <laughs> one point five million. What you gonna do with that money, bro? Parents That's the thing. So he, not only that, first off, parents. 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's first. That's first things first. Then invest in your craft. Because it it ain't going (laughs) to... Right. He's going to invest in your, like... That's what I'm saying. Right. No, so what he's gonna like, do? He's gonna do do Twitch. And he's yeah. gonna be making money off of Twitch because exactly. now he's the best for, well, he's not he's the best for they play in the world. Man, so, a chance so, yeah. Yeah. So. so everybody's going on. Actually, he just got swatted. I think yesterday what? they swatted his Are fucking. You, <laughs> you never heard of that? The SWAT team. They yeah. Know? People will lie yeah. about um bomb threats and shit. Yeah, like bomb that. threats and say you got guns and you're on camera and people not even in the same state will say yo this guy's. Blah blah blah, and they'll get swatted. I think somebody got killed off of it. They need to stop playing. This is really not too funny to me. Mm-hmm. Bro, I don't, I don't so oh, that. so that's why I be watching them videos of the gamers, the streamers. Yeah, they get swatted. That's because people be calling them. it in as little jokes. Bro, that's but I think bullshit. one time somebody got shot. Or wow, a dog got shot. Wow, that's just wow. Cool. that ain't no joke right there, man. Ah, you be hating, bro. That's grimy. It's kind of foul. It's funny, but foul. Yo, it's, it's funny. It's, it's just fucking foul, savage, but it's funny. Shit. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. Like, yeah. I say savage, and it's like, Dang, oh, that's damn. savage. <laughs> but no, it's fucked up. It's People funny until somebody me. gets shot, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just not cool. Well, it's, nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Unless it's not you. Uh, yeah, because if it's you, you know what I'm saying, and yo, you got some it's time, and you're man. not supposed to have some. But time, I don't want to. You know? I don't even, like if I had kids and they're on Twitch, bro. I wouldn't want my kids to see some dude get swatted on live nah, cam and get bro, shot, that's so bro. Dirty. Wow, that's so weird. I don't want to see that shit. I can't believe people do that. People are wild. That's people don't, do that. don't do that shit. Yeah, if you do that, <laughs> wow, you're bad. You're bad. People are don't give a fuck, bro. Yo, but so like some of the games that were in Evo, Soul Calibur Six. Yes. Didn't even know they were still doing those. Yes. I haven't played those since Yoda and uh, Yoda. I don't know when. Um, Yoda and I think um, that was four. Third Yoda. And like, I think it is four. Cause Who was like, it three. It was a console thing, like so. Yeah, yeah, Xbox. Yeah. I think Xbox Had got Yoda. like Spawn from. Um, yeah, in one of them, Marvel. I think that was two. I don't know, but oh, damn, I'm <laughs> throwback. Sure, because uh, one of them had Link from Zelda. Yeah, that might have been three. on GameCube. That was probably three. That three? <laughs> Just Pull that shit up. Nah, yeah. What was it? What were we doing? Fucking which one had Yoda? Soul Calibur. Okay. But you know, the last one I remember playing heavy was three. I don't remember who was in that game. Oh, you want it? Oh, oh, click out of that. that my sound, my sound actually might be a little so make sure you click out of right. that YouTube shit. It might be picking up on my, uh, what you call it? Special moves just trying to approach you from the screen. Oh, and it yeah. looks like they're getting into it because they did their butt uh, checks. Yeah, I think it's Alt F4. It was 4. 4 and Yoda. Who was in 3? Put Soul Calibur... Three characters. I don't even Lizard Man. Oh yeah, Lizard Man. I don't know, I don't know. shit. I, I never actually played Soul Calibur three. I've only <laughs> that was my game, bro. <laughs> I've only ever played the fourth one. That was the only one I played heavy because I had like this cool story you mode. You recognize these characters? Hell no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember Soul. That was my boy, Young Swing. Yo, Young Swing. Yo, that was my nigga right there. He had a shirt on when I played though. Hong Hong Yun Seong. Hong Yun Seong. Cosmos. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe ain't had nobody special. What the yeah, that made me want Panda Express. <laughs> 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 I can't with y'all, man. <laughs> All right, so we got we got the gist out of that. Pause. God, yeah, damn, I don't just fucking stop know. This we out of here. What was the next game? Evo, Evo, Evo Smash Bros. broke a record. Suck at it Smash Bros. It had 20, 27, 279,000 people watching on Twitch. Damn. On Holy Sunday. Shit. Wow. Bro, that's how big gaming is now, dude. Well, straight up, like eSport, like Overwatch League is on ESPN. Yeah, and like, Overwatch is trash. <laughs> 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 they put a cool game on there, like fucking Smash Bros. I used to play the shit out of Overwatch. Overwatch was fun. I fell out because I wasn't good. I just got bored. <laughs> I was nasty. 
I was okay. I was good. I was a, okay. Z- I was a Zenyatta main. I, I was, was uh, a dude. I would, would get would gold, gold then, damage, yeah. gold kills, mm-hmm. gold healing as Zenyatta. You would be Zenyatta, bro. Because you you're a monk. Thirty-four hundred <laughs> entrance. So picture that, bro. It's it's this and is something that a sport can't G's. compete with. 21 grand just for winning the tournament. This is something that sports can't compete wow. with, bro. You can have 34,000 people show up and actually compete. When sports... Like, we, you, NBA can barely get a solid minute. 12 people on a team. How many teams in the NBA? Uh, 37. They can't even get a solid fucking... 12 people on a 30... In a 30 how many people is that? Do the math. I'm so trash right now. What's 12 times? Damn, 30? bro. 279,000. That's what you said. 279,000. And then the record before that was... Um, 258? Dragon Ball Fighter Z at 258. That was last year, wow. I think. Yeah, that's crazy. Tekken 7? Tekken 7 was... I watched a little bit of that. That shit was pretty lit. They still got Tekken? 14, Yo, and that's dollars. another thing, bro. This is international. Because you're not going to find some... You're not going to find a great ba- Chinese basketball player. You might find one every decade, like Yao, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know nowadays, man. It's it's a little easier, man. There's a lot of like overseas players popping in the um, NBA. Yeah, but they all from like the same place. They, well, they all play a professional. A lot of them graduate high school, but they go on a, a professional Euro League. Um, it's like their version of the NBA, you know what I mean? But it, mm. and they have teams everywhere. And China has their own league. Mm-hmm. A lot of the older vets go to China and shit. It's, I don't think it's, it's weird. Compete. I don't, I think sports are not gonna be able to compete with video games, bro. Eventually, yeah, I agree. And we're I mean, getting we're getting to that level. The industry, like the industry itself, makes so much money. Yeah, that video that, you know, you sent of uh, what was it, dude? I forget his name. Patriot Act, I guess, is like his What's jam. What's his It was like Hassan. No. Hassan. No, <laughs> <It's laughs> an Indian dude, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Oh, shit. Not Mel Gibson. Not Mel Gibson. What is his name, bro? He's a comedian. He's it, funny. I think shit. it's Hassan something. Yeah, Hassan. I was just gonna say, if you look at like the way things trend are trending, like you don't see a lot of kids playing outside. No. The majority of them are playing indoors, playing well, games. Yeah. Right. There's their almost house more money. They're games. offering scholarships for fucking video games now, dude. What? There's a Smash there Bros scholarship. I do not know. Is there an age limit? Can I be a walk on? <laughs> That's like, you know what I'm saying. Like, um, that's a good question because I really don't know. Because like, um, where I was going with that was like, um, a lot of kids would tend to stay at home and prefer that over going outside and doing some, playing yeah. some kind of sport. You know what I mean? Well, like, plus it's more it's more relaxing. You know, at least I feel like it's know, convenient. I can agree with that statement. Change kind of. How long do you guys <laughs> think? I, I I don't think it's a question of if. I think it's a question of when. Because like I definitely think sports? it's trending. Yeah, it, I think there's gonna be a lot more. I think it there might, already is part more than yeah. That's what I'm saying. Might already have. But how many? Like how much till you start seeing like a saturated? I guess there's still gonna be some like elite players still like, play. You know. Yeah. yeah. There, I, I feel like there will always be sporting and sporting championships and of stuff. Of course. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no, like, for sure. Yeah. Championships. I just don't think it'll be. I just think it'll be. It'll take a back Flip seat to where it'll be the video games are gonna be leaving the sports. Mm. I feel like you we've know already I mean? gotten to that point. It, well, yeah, yeah, like the ESPN channel that has the um. I, I think it'll be a matter the of drones that fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I forgot that? about that. It's time to do that. It's time to the do little drone games. racing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If it's not already here, it's, it's probably a five, ten years max. Where yeah. They're gonna have to do. I don't even. I they're gonna have to do something different to advertise sports. Like they're gonna have to. Have, like I heard one thing that sounded kind of cool. <coughs> like, having like kind of a VR headset into the game. So not like. Mm-hmm. So like instead of a game, you already. I, I, I think know. so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So like instead of buying tickets. Like court side on a basketball. Yeah, it feel like you're you're yeah. from your house. Court side. Yeah, yeah. Your house. that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, the, they probably already. That can't be that. good for you though. Like Why not? Well, v- you could say Stand VR at a screen you- like this. Yeah, maybe not. Not Can't for extended for not yet. You know what I mean? For a whole. And game. then to the point where your brain is adapting to that. That this is what's happening right now. It's gonna be. It some, can't be good for you. It's gonna be some dot hex science shit. Yeah, <clears> I'm know. just saying, like it. I'm not. I'm yeah, not saying. Know, no, it just can't be good for you. From at least from a, a eyes, 
a vision standpoint. Yeah, I don't know. It's like at, overstimulation. At the very least, I feel like but it definitely, I, it definitely has to release chemicals in your brain that don't get released until you experience certain events in life that causes those reactions mm-hmm. to happen. You know, like example, uh, that feeling you get in your stomach when you're on a on a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it, dude, you go watch some of these VR videos, and it'll trigger like you're fucking at the top, about to drop mm-hmm. down. Yeah. Like, it's it's really it crazy. Like, like really there. and that was like years ago. That was before it got better. Now, you yeah. know. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know, man. We'll see. It's kind of like I don't know. Like, I love the idea of VR. I love the idea of like augmented reality. I don't care for it to be real. Um. Have you tried it? I'm not at that point yet. Well, how, how, how can you say that? <laughs> You're right. You never <laughs> You're right. I've it's, seen and I've tried, but the basic stuff, not, not none of the new stuff. Yeah. I've played, like, I remember a little while back, I went to this video game arcade in Vieira where they actually had a couple rooms where you could, like, rent out the room and play mm-hmm. and do, like, uh, they had a computer in there set up with the um, this, HTC Vive. This place is here. Um it was cool though that was my first experience with VR um, the only thing that I can say um, I really don't like is um, in games where you have to like move around a lot um, it can be really disorienting because mm. in the particular game that I was playing the way that you actually navigated the world was you would push a button on the controller and point somewhere in the world and let go and you would teleport there mm-hmm. so like if you're if you're playing really quickly you're gonna be jumping around all over the place and hmm. motion sickness yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. real quick I could definitely see something like that for sure but I, could, yeah. I don't like the idea of like VR becoming so popular that you get people that just like they go home they plug in <laughs> yeah, and yeah, never yeah. fucking get off of it and like so Ready they, Player One y'all seen yeah, that yeah, movie yeah, yeah. that I was a great movie you gotta yeah. see that movie yeah, yeah. I've heard it's really good sure. that's a great freaking movie it was really a good, good book, I've heard. One of my friends, that's his favorite book. Yeah, I heard it was a good book, too. I heard that there's more, like, 80s references, I think. Yeah. I and this that. one, it was more, like, modern-day stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I think, that's why I think it was so popular. Because mm. it had a little bit oh, of yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? 80s, 90s, current stuff. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot of gamer culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. for sure. Pretty cool stuff. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know, man. We'll see, bro. Did y'all see that Dolomite trailer I showed y'all? No. Mm. I did not. You guys are trash. Bro. I know, yeah. man. I feel it's the return of Erdy, Eddie Erdy. Eddie Murphy, bro. Oh, okay. You yeah. were telling me about that. Yeah. Yes. He's finally making a movie. He's playing Dolomite. And he's he was a rapper slash comedian. And I think he was one of the people who kind of like pushed the... How could I say derogatory <laughs> of com- comedy and like well, raunchy well, type he, yeah he, raunchy type yeah, stuff yeah. well I mean what's his name was already around um uh Pryor um, Richard Pryor Richard Pryor mm-hmm. he definitely broke those yes, barriers yes sir. But, but he did bring Eddie did bring like that that was the 80s you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. but he brought that that Hood, that niggerness. Well, no, the, the, oh, this along is, with the uh, that it's rawness, not, yeah, like yeah, yeah, like it's yeah, yeah. raw. He brought that raw, mm. you know what I mean, yeah, like, like unfiltered, like yeah, opinionated, yeah, like very, yeah, very, yeah, and, and, and very trending, you know, with a lot of stuff mm-hmm. that was going on around the time, and he was just more, yeah, like like Richard Pryor set that barrier down where he kind of like made it not okay but acceptable, kind of like oh they just doing their comedy you know what yeah, I mean? yeah and then he turned it some he commercialized himself a lot well you know what i mean a lot yeah. better because uh i guess the uh, timing according know? this is a it's a remake of a movie called dolomite from the fucking 75s 1975 <coughs> so oh <laughs> but i'm just glad eddie murphy's back because yeah, hopefully you get a stand up and then they keep talking about Coming back to America too, 
It might be too late for that, though. You think so? Why? Sometimes it's too late for things, you know? Because now... It can never live up to the hype. It's mm. it's never going to live up to the Maybe. hype, for sure. Because it's a icon. I, you know you're right thing about is, that. Ever, I don't like, even know what movie you're talking about, so I can't to a man. my opinion. I told you, dude. I don't know shit. You're a young bug. <laughs> I don't know yeah. shit about pop culture. But you know that was pop culture probably thirty years ago or something. How old is that? Maybe longer. Probably, what? No, it's not that longer. Long, no. Older than you? Maybe like twenty. It's older than me. Okay. But no, it's it's about the eighties. Did like it? Eighty six or something like that. I thought you might be right. Let's find out. You about to I'm pull that my shit phone right now, bro? I gotta stop saying that. Pull that shit. Why? Well, because that's like that's already a thing. Oh, you're right. Eighty eight. It's older than me. Yeah. See. Told you, eighty-eight. Said eighty-six, but it was older than me. I was eighty-nine. Damn. That's a whole year and a couple months. Damn. <laughs> I wouldn't even Damn, see. I, like I was negative eight. Negative eight. Uh, you want to know who's Yo, in this fuck. movie? He's the nobody in the movie. It's Samuel Jackson. Really? Uh, like one of his nobody. first roles, I guess. One of the. Um, I, mean, I don't know how many roles he had before that, but he wasn't. It was then there forty years ago, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 30, Shoot, 30 years. 30, I'm well, so bad. Well, yeah, 40, because it's like 32 like years. Century. 31 years. It's too complicated. Yeah, yeah, it's older than me, so that's all the fuck <laughs> Um... <laughs> but like, Wait, are we terrible so at math for this fucking, this fucking shit? My point that's is, like 15 years I don't ago? think you could top... <laughs> I don't think you could top coming to America. And I think anything you do, like, is going to be that, like, Kevin Hart... No, no disrespect to Kevin Hart, but that Kevin Hart over the top reach uh, for a laugh yeah you i don't know, know man how can you top coming to America? i think it might be good because eddie murphy hasn't been doing shit for a while yeah, yeah, yeah. and since he, you're not see if kevin hart was doing this movie i'd probably be like yeah i'll probably pass on it or something nah, I'll, 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 I'll do this coming to america too no, no, not, you know, not okay, necessarily. Him doing, <laughs> like, Kevin Hart would do, like, another Soul Plane or some shit. Okay. Like, even yeah, though yeah, that yeah. was a trash. Some, I yeah, like Soul Plane. It's, it's a love or hate. Movie yeah, yeah. Sure. I like yeah. Soul Plane. But even if you try to do another one, I'm like, I pass. But mostly because, like, I, Kevin Hart's been in almost everything every year. This is probably the s- slowest year for him that that I haven't seen anything. Right. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Something? Yeah, and um, The Rock too. I know he just had that that um, Fast and Furious movie. Dude, he was he just dropped he was so out. good. And um, what did he drop before? Uh, that? Tooth Fairy Two. The they had a second. <laughs> I'm so done with you. I was like, they had a second one. I never even watched the first one. Like, yeah, they put him in. I never watched either of them. Chris, <laughs> 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 dude, I hate you. Right now. Yo, that's another thing we gotta bring up though. What? That Disney Hulu. Fucking EA oh, deal, that's bro. Ass. What was I saying about that shit? Y'all made me forget what I was saying. I'm just that's saying that Kevin man. Hart oh. was making a Soul Plane tune. I wouldn't care because I've been seeing him forever. The Soul fact Blade? that Eddie Murphy has been quiet for I don't know how long makes me want to see anything he's in, really. Yeah. Because he's a fucking beast. I'll tell you what I wish. What? No disrespect to Eddie at all. And Eddie's not included in this sense. I wish Bernie Mac was still alive. Oh, Bernie. R.I.P. Because he look like he'd be perfect in Dolomite. The cookies and the fucking milk. <laughs> that's that's skit. Man, but, um... <laughs> that skit was funny. Um, Dave Chappelle. I need some more Dave Chappelle. Fucking A. A lot more Dave Chappelle. That motherfucker's funny. We need him in this I need time. Him. This I need him. Climate, man. Pause. Pause. Um, uh, I, I prefer we take his time. I don't want him to hoard himself out. I agree. But it's been a while, all right? It's been like <coughs> a, two years, a year. He's done like a stand-up thing okay. recently. I think recently? That's it, yeah. So Disney will offer a bundle package. Now, this doesn't sound like a um, an assumption. It says it will offer it a bundle like package. Legit. Yeah, it's legit. Three sim- Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus for twelve ninety nine a month starting November 12th. Is that killing, is that killing Netflix? What y'all think? No. It's not going to kill Netflix, in my opinion. But it is going to bring some competition. Yeah, which which is sure. probably a good thing. Yeah, for It's sure. a good thing in a way, but... They I'm will also, compete. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. One thing that I'm kind of concerned about is... Um, I feel like this might pave the way for content being super exclusive. Oh, yeah. To where yeah. it's like, you can only ever watch this specific show or movie if you get this 
subscription. Oh yeah, no, that's gonna be the case, bro. And that's kind of unless you got that's gonna promote. Thing. That's gonna bring. <laughs> Which brings me to my point. Oh, <laughs> it's going to promote piracy. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, uh, probably. Yeah, they will. Like that's the that, there's always been a yin to the yang. Assuming mm-hmm. like so, like cable. Let's say is yin. Mm-hmm. Like I remember living in the projects over in Virginia, and like my mom had one of them cable boxes. Yeah. And we have HBO, you know what I mean? You talk about the memes where you see the, the, the colors all streaming. You see, like, a nipple. And, like, from the I porn, like, it. bro, yeah, that, yeah. that's my youth. <laughs> no, I, I remember that, too. That's my youth. My mom would leave at night, and I'd be, like, Papa, trying to see what's on. And then, like, the um, yeah. WrestleManias, yeah, them yeah, joints yeah. would be on mm-hmm. there, too. Like, yo, that, there's always been some sort of piracy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With, that's true with and, you know the entertainment <clears throat> yeah and, and and there always will be and who knows I mean this this will probably be a good thing for Netflix because it will probably spur them to try to pick up better content yeah well the yeah. only competition at first was what cable cable and who Redbox I mean before Hulu like Netflix and Redbox Redbox, Redbox yeah yeah hey, Redbox is <clears throat> Redbox is so hit or miss yeah well Redbox is convenient as fuck Red yeah, Box is like, like if you stay on top of every week what's coming out, you know what I mean. You yeah, always have, assuming it, you watch yeah, everything. You know, to me it's, it's, it's not a bad deal though. Yeah, no, 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 it's a great yeah, deal. Two dollars movie, watch it at night, turn it back the next day. It's dull, but Netflix is like you don't leave the house. Exactly. Yeah, but then and then remember they used to mail them to you. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that days. shit. My mom was doing that shit before it was cool. My cousin was doing that. And I didn't realize there was the same company. To like me neither. Two years ago. <laughs> I was like, what? Not that late. It didn't take me that long. Man. I was like, what? Wait, Netflix? I remember that. <laughs> Yo, because there was someone else. No, it was Redbox. It was Redbox that you did that with. Redbox did it too? Yeah. Really? Nah. Mailing? Bro, I'm telling you. Oh my I'm God. telling the age yeah, of Google. I could be wrong. Redbox didn't mail shit. There was Game Flying on Netflix. Bro, Gamefly is actually really fucking good. Gamefly I, is worth it. And I'm all, I've always been interested, and I just never do it. Gamefly is really good if you like single player, like story yeah, based, that, like campaign games, because then that way you can play the newest shit as soon as it comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I don't know, I'm sure you can relate to you know getting a new game like Uncharted or something mm-hmm. and beating the campaign in like two or three Similar days, shit, man. and then it's like. I spent sixty dollars on this. I'm mm. already fucking done with it. Whereas with GameFly, you can you know just play shit. As it I'm really out. surprised Google Stadia's fucking options are, is pretty weak. Cause I thought that was gonna be kind of that kind of that like maybe you could like rent or like so maybe you could pay monthly, play a game. So instead of spending sixty dollars on a game, you just pay monthly. That's streaming. That's a streaming service, right? Yeah, yeah, I thought... Bro, I'm telling you... Dude, stay going to do that, but you still have to buy the game. But you don't What's get a physical copy. Because uh, they were the ones... It's a... My friend... Shout out to Carlos. He put it in another perspective for me. He was like, well, you're taking out the price of a console. Because technically, Google Stadia is free. But then what do you play? It's on PC? I, I, don't, know, I don't remember how it works. <laughs> they see this thing. It attaches... I thought it, it attaches, like, Wi-Fi. And then there's a. I thought it was like a device that you put on. I don't even remember, Whoa, bro. I'm so out of the loop. I thought this was just like an app that you How get. How do you spell it? Nah, it might be an app. Google what? Stadia. S T A D I A. So like, pretty sure it's free. Like the service itself. The service itself is free. And then you. But you can only play it. in 1080 or 720. It depends on your Ooh. based on your um, on the uh, your speed. Internet speed. Check yeah. mine, check mine. That might fuck my shit up. Do it anyway. Yeah. We recommend a uh, download speed of at least 10 megabits per second. So they... Check mine, check mine. Yeah. My shit's probably fucking Say up. Say no more. I didn't fuck your shit up. You told me to. I pay... And I pay, what, $40 a month for my internet? Spectrum? Yes. That's pretty solid. It's okay. Ultimate Alliance, dog. They get lit. I was bashing it today on my video, though, but it's, it's lit. It, it looks lit. Makes me want to get a Switch. But, yeah, so my, so my connection is great, brother. Great. <laughs> That's Shit. 
50 megabytes. High performance, my boy. Oh, so I should buy it. But anyways. Yeah, so how does it work? How does it work, bro? We fucking waste <laughs> time, bro. We got a fucking video to do. What are you doing? That looks like that Dreamcast logo. It do, though. They buy it. <laughs> yeah. Talk it's free it. though. That's all. <coughs> what you need free. to know. Just pulling it up. What you need to eh, no, I don't look like no damn. It, like a stretched out Dreamcast it, it, logo instead of a rem- spiral. It's reminiscent. They stretched it out and made an S. Yeah. Oh oh oh. So Stadia is about to be free to play. What games come on Stadia? So you got every game. Every trash, you know. A Cross triple A platform. game yeah, they yeah. like to Oh shit, Thumper works on it. What is it? I don't yes. even know what that is. Me neither. <laughs> the crew too? <laughs> <laughs> got me on that shit. Oh, they got Beyond the New on that bitch though. The fucking 20 year old game. <laughs> One of my favorite games. What's that? Beyond the All right, here we go. Oh. While there's no word, yeah, access will make mm-hmm. some the platform. You saw you play will be available. Oh, you lost me at EA. Yeah, yeah, so like. If you paying like, oh, so if you got the controller, you, yeah, yeah. Oh, if, so it's like the Ouya. Oh, I forgot about the, the Ouya. Ouya. This, this is gonna trying. be straight up just like the Ouya. Oh, you have to buy a controller. I think you have to buy a controller. So seventy dollars, but you don't have to pay a five hundred, four hundred dollar console. You can purchase controllers for sixty nine dollars each. So you gotta buy a controller. And the games. And the controller comes with this thingy. The doggle. It's sad because I did right. a bunch of research so on this, this like months ago. And I don't you gotta have, if you have, so you need was 30 50. to 35. Damn. You straight dog. We 4K! You straight dog. We 4K. <laughs> I ain't yeah. buying this shit though. Me neither. Um, See, it's free. Stadia. Okay, so there's the um the two That's versions right there. Actually it's free. free. Up to 1080p. Uh, 60 frames per second, stereo sound, Bullshit. so basic sound. I ain't getting 60 uh, frames. Five games whenever <laughs> you want. Yeah, so this is a rain, bro. Free. This is a rain. <laughs> oh, see, additional free games released regularly? No. Yeah, so that's like PlayStation Plus. Yeah, so literally you can play Angry Birds. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be dumb. It's gonna be dumb shit, at least for a while. For old games. Or you can pay $10 a, a really month, good. and then you have resolution up to 4K. But you still gotta buy games. Per seconds, five point one surround sound. Buy games, yes. Um, free games, yes. Starting with Destiny Two, trash ass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's another thing. Club. They came up with Destiny Two and like, y'all gotta, y'all gotta push up, another y'all game. Y'all fucked up bro. already. They took the money and ran. Is what they fucking did. So, but again, man, it's, it's my, how my friend told me to look at it. Is like, it's another. You don't have to buy a console. Next year, it's a very good. Point. You could just do that and play the next games, the at least third, you know, third party AAA games. So like Division Two, and it's supposed to be cross play, <laughs> I think. Right? They're good. This they're pushing this. Oh, what the hell? But I'm not about to oh, buy that shit, bro. All right, they're pushing this. Uh, Founders Edition, one hundred twenty nine dollars. Chromecast Ultra, Limited Edition Night Blue Steady Ooh. Controller, three months. Pro. And a friend, bro. Oh, for you plus and a one. friend. We can both one. be a pro. I need to First names at your stadium. We need name. Destiny 2 That's how collection. you get hung loot with no numbers, bro. Yeah. Be the first. <laughs> one of the first. And then we get Destiny 2 the collection. You know the game that was Man. free how many times? Yeah, exactly. Get the fucking trash. <laughs> I, next topic. I don't hate it. I just think it's not for me, and I think they kind of missed the mark where it could have been a streaming service, where it, even if it was like twenty dollars a month, I think people would have looked at it like, "Yo, I could play this game that just dropped, but I don't want to spend sixty for it." Yeah, no, nah, for sure. It's yeah. a great idea, but they need even thirty a month. It, it doesn't play. seem like they are doing anything to really set themselves. Like apart from other yeah. services, I mean, it's it's a really good um, benefit of not having to buy a console. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, um, you gotta wonder about exclusive titles. Exclusive um, titles. Then once next gen comes out, the games that are gonna launch for that, and you buy are the they game be compatible. You with? buy the game and you don't legally probably do not own it. 
since it's all going to be saved on the network. Yes, plus so. that, I mean, like you were pretty much just saying, um, because it's locked into a subscription, as soon as you stop paying that subscription, you lose yeah. the games. Yeah, so I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because which would be they, which would be okay again if it was like an unlimited access of games for a couple or for like okay, it's twenty dollars a month or something. But since you still gotta buy them, yep. well, it's free. It's still free. So it's free. So you technically, I guess, you keep your games, yeah, well, even though you technically don't own them. I wonder because they might <clears throat> they might make it where certain games are locked behind the pro membership. I could definitely see probably. That. In which case, it's like, yeah, you don't have to buy a console. However, you're throwing your money into a pit for it. They also could make a lot of games pay to win just because certain games... Okay, say Call of Duty drops. Well, pro members get access to the game first. And they kind of already do that. But pro members get access to the game first. Yeah. Therefore, they got the better weapons and perks before you even get it. Yeah, they're player. already prestige That's 7 before you even fucking get the game. I'm, just, I'm talking about the Stadia shit. No, oh. we're not getting Call of Duty. Yes, yeah, a lot. Are you getting Call of Duty? Not, not when it launches. Hell no. You know how many times I've been burned? Hell no. Is you free? getting that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you still getting that bitch. When it's free on PlayStation Plus, I'll get it. Man. So in 10 years. Or Xbox, whatever. Yeah, That's, yo, games be going on PlayStation Plus for free fast, though. Because they trash. Because pe- people... They're good, though. The last few months, they've had really good titles. Detroit know, Become man. Human. Don't, don't care really about it. Really good title. Uh, Sniper Elite 4. I don't play, give I a shit. Sniper Elites were That's pretty cool dope, though. Game. They're like, yeah, that was all right. Those a couple months right. ago, they gave um, Call of Duty 4 remastered. Exactly. So, oh, I did get the Call of Duty shit. Uh, it was it. free. Destiny it was two, free. The <laughs> greatest <laughs> game of all time. Me. That's when I found out it was Super Trash. Because I, I thought I was trash before I bought it. Played it. Played it, and I got to the level cap, beat the story. Oh, like, this game is trash, bro. This is like, literally this the same game. It's the same shit. Yeah, I caught that shit though. When How is it unlockable? Video? Your old powers. <laughs> How that you unlock be, your that old powers? That should be powers? unlockable from the jump. That should be unlocked more from the very beginning of the game, and the enemy yeah. should be They took away up. your powers, made the you use this whole new power up. suit, yeah. or power set, just to go through the game and unlock. Your old powers. And Peter Dinklage didn't voice the ghost. <laughs> that was a big deal, bro. <laughs> Dude, people were mad about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a big deal. Oh, Tyrion. Dude. Tyrion. Um, What's um, his last name? Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion Lannister. Yeah. Game of Thrones was Did great not tell a lie. Game of Thrones was what? What the fuck did you say? So it was great until the end, dude. Uh, yeah. That last season was ass. Actually, the season Horrible before that was ass. below average, too. Yeah, but it wasn't as bad as It wasn't as season. bad as the last season. Because we was thought a... we were building. You thought you were We're not about to go back into this, this bro. Yeah, we were already been yeah, into yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not about to this go back okay. into this. This is so we last We want to talk month. about that video you sent us, the dark side of the gaming industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we were t- talking about. Hassan, um, we didn't get into oh, it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Hassan, I'm familiar. Oh, yeah. Him. So, but yeah, yeah, so gaming is as big as it is now, right? Yep. But these motherfuckers are like overworking their employees. They're fucking. Gosh. Doesn't surprise me. The DLC shit's crazy now. Trash. Like. Oh yeah, microtransactions. Yeah, Trash. like. Trash. You might like that's why I didn't buy. I wanted to buy Mortal Kombat Eleven. But I was like, I'll just wait for the Ultimate Edition because I'm yeah. not about to buy all my characters. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, and, and that's the thing. is like That's pretty much the best way to buy games nowadays is just wait a year yeah. till the Game of the Year Edition, Ultimate yeah, yeah, yeah. Edition, whatever they want to call instead it. Instead of $60, pay $40 with every character. It's not yeah. the same, though. What do you mean? For a game like Call of Duty. Like the, like the game Are you trying to defend Call of Duty, bro? I'm not trying to defend anything, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> if you want to, like me, I'm trying to do the streaming shit in a few months. Mm-hmm. So, like, I've got to pick a game that's going to be trending. Or yeah, that is trending. Enough. I don't think that's you know what I mean? 100% that true, but it no, does happen. No, you're right, because I've seen some weird-ass games. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It does. But if you want to, like, build it up the quickest way, I guess, mm-hmm. 
That's not fair to say that's either. True. That's not fair to say no. either. But like, that's gonna be a very popular game. Yes. That uh, millions of people are gonna buy. Mm-hmm. And gonna be looking and be out. watching videos at first. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if I got like a nice, like usually, oh, my bad. Damn, that was fucked up. Uh, usually, yes. like when Modern Warfare times, those those first like not eight years yeah. of awesomeness that they had, like six to eight years. Um, every time a title came out. I would play hardcore, but it was like, you were not, like, I was fucking people up, because nobody really yeah, knew yeah, the maps, you know what yeah. I mean, nobody knows the maps like that, so we're all just, and dude, my kill streak, used to, my kill to death used to be lit mm. up, until campers started, like, catching on. I shit. mean, and like, I feel like in that little short window, I could put up some nice highlights. <laughs> That's true. It's the opposite of me because my first Call of Duty game was Black Ops, and fucking my win loss was fucking terrible because I kept getting kicked out of games because the network was the so internet. Bad. Uh, <laughs> you know, my KD was like Warfare? two, three. I, I missed Modern Warfare. Too. How old were you? I was. Uh, I'm gonna feel old. Don't tell me. I didn't old. have a PlayStation okay. three. Okay. I didn't have a PlayStation three. Modern Warfare two. Draw. I. I didn't have the capability to play online multiplayer until Black Ops Two came out. Okay. So my I missed Black out Ops. on like the gotcha. golden, the, like the golden days. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. But see, you guys were. Like I was younger. very late. You were like seven yeah. years younger. I don't know. How old I was. What, what year? I was now? seventeen. Seventeen or eighteen when uh, Halo Three. And, I missed uh, all the Halo shit. Halo Three and uh, Modern Warfare came out. Call of Duty Four. All my friends were like on fucking Modern Warfare 2 and I missed out on it. I got into it. Modern Warfare 2. I got my peers. Okay, 09. So I was still in high school. So 17? 17, 16? 09. I was in 09. I was 19 or 20. Mm-hmm. I was a freshman. So I missed out on that shit. I got. I got. I got my PS3 like right before Black Ops came out, and I was hyped for Black Ops. Yeah. Actually, because you were saying people have an advantage, I was watching people on Modern Warfare 2 when I first got it. Granted, it was kind of dying, but I was doing pretty good. Yeah, I wasn't cause, as good as Black cause, Ops, but. <clears throat> what I was saying about that was like everybody's even because nobody knows the map. Mm-hmm. So it's just mostly skill because people aren't going to be like camping. The majority of the people yeah. are going to be camping. They're going to be running around. It's a totally new experience for everyone. So it's, yeah, it's but it was a, a new experience to me, and I was still watching kids. You know, I was watching like, kids? I was doing pretty good. Whoa. What? Oh, watching kids. <laughs> I, was like, I didn't even get it. He was like, whoa. I was like, <laughs> I was like what did you say just now? I was like, yeah, 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 you were watching yeah. them, like YouTube? It was like, you're watching the kids. Uh, like, what is going on here? I thought I knew you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I need to go. It's like, what time? Is what? It? What? What's actually in that closet over there? <laughs> Anyways, y'all weirdos. Okay, we moving off this. Oh, real shit. But all I'm saying is, I don't even remember what I was saying, bro. You guys fucking killed it. That is fucked up. But um, anyway, well, I I don't see the fucking I don't see the point of buying anything at launch to be real. Except for Modern Warfare, Depends not even Call of Duty. But I'm gonna be on it. <laughs> That's good for you, dude. Games like I'll wait till it's free to play. Like Elder Scrolls Six. What's the point of getting that launch? There's no point. I've been fucking waiting for that since oh, like I beat Skyrim. But you might as well wait, wait till it drops twenty forty dollars. I no, I shouldn't. I Why not? Because I want to nah. fucking play <laughs> that. <laughs> that's how I am with Call I respect like, that. I'm not saying that. I recommend you for that, though, because that's a tough game to stay into. Like, for I me, in my it. opinion. Because I, I bought them, but... It's so in depth. It's so See, much I, shit. I got it for free. I'm just never interested in it. That RPGs, like single player RPGs, favorite favorite games. Favorite. Yeah. Um, I don't like Elder Scrolls Combat. And I like RPGs. Elder Scrolls Combat is really weak. That's something that I hope that they fix in Elder Scrolls Six. Was like in Skyrim, the the combat was really kind of just. Like you this. stand there and you fucking yeah, slash Yeah, that's what I didn't like forever. about it. Yeah, it was um, like doing a bunch of competitive kind of, movements. Yeah, very uninspired. And you swing twice and you get tired. Or you were getting your ass <laughs> yeah. 
or the big giant alive. was fucking kicking you or like smashing a tree on yeah. you or some shit like that. But like the thing I loved about Skyrim, like especially back when it first came out, was just like the freedom of exploration and just like going out into the world and being able to just go wherever you choose, go into a cave and and, and see what you see what you find. So Minecraft. Um, Minecraft, but like but not. I'm just, I'm being an asshole. <laughs> when not that, I gotta choose my words nicely. Without those uh, boxy square graphics, <laughs> the shit graphics. Yes, those graphics are fucking lead, bro. That game was breaking records when it dropped. Atari records. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <Atari records. laughs> that game was like top game for I don't know how long, and I never. Even with the long. graphics, though, it's very demanding on computers. Is it? it has it's to, probably yeah, huge because you the have world to render so much yeah. shit. Um, yeah, I lost my. I didn't know. I played yeah, it out, and like I was, I was playing with my sister or somebody, and I'm just following her, and I'm like, bro, I did not know this game was this fucking huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like on a, Yeah, it's yeah. kind of crazy. And it's like different. Every time I see it, it's just like like in the woods or whatever. And there's different like settings. It's actually like villages and shit. Like different yeah. biomes. You can yeah. make a wolf your friend. They got fishes and Yo. they get, like, yeah, it's crazy. And then yeah, they dig and they dig and dig and dig and dig. And, dig, and, dig, and, dig, and there's water everywhere. <laughs> and then they build and then you fall and get back them. up and up and up and up and I'm like, what's the point of this shit? Yeah. Like, Freedom. But then it's like, Freedom. what's the point of any game? Yeah. Just to escape reality, I guess. You're in a Minecraft world. A block world. Where bro, you gotta get Call of exist. Duty, bro. Tell me. Well, you oh gotta get it shit. in trend. Like, bro, Literally. with your fucking... With his, yo, shout free, out bro? on the comment if you made it this far. Comment whether or not you think Eclipse should get Call of Duty. Especially since he has already his streaming service on Xbox. Mm -mm. It's a lot easier for him to do so. Mm -mm. He's already got some nice hits with this Ultimate Alliance stuff. Mm -mm. Do you guys think, or not, that he could be successful at streaming good clips? It doesn't matter what y'all think. Because I'm not this From Eclipse. You don't care what your viewers <laughs> think? The good That's clips up, from dude. Eclipse. No. <laughs> Oh, no, that buddy. sounds like a segment, though. <laughs> you look like a segment. <laughs> eclipse clips. Eclipse, eclipse clips. Eclipse of eclipse. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get a glimpse of eclipse's clips. Oh! oh, 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 oh that's the, the glimpse of channel. The glimpse of the clips. Oh, 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 like what oh. were we talking about? Nothing. Who cares? We just got a segment. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> the kid, I'm the clip. I'm falling, bro. Oh, oh, shit. Wow. I can't. I can't, bro. I'm done with y'all. Couldn't have done it without y'all. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without y'all. <laughs> but, but, um... I'm not getting that yet. Um, We've been all over the place. We have, man. This is, like, the most wildest fucking... Very, because like, we haven't... The, the first we thing we were off script, so now yeah. we're like trying to think. We don't have like, a script. That's the yeah. problem. <laughs> yeah. bro, we need we, a script. We, we had some topics. We had some topics. You know, and this one, that's the mm -hmm. only thing that's been different. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we even talk about the... Oh, no, yeah, we did. We talked about Evo, um, the Disney Hulu. Oh, but 13 oh, bucks God. only. We didn't talk about that. We did that's talk about it. We did, we did, but we didn't go into it. But like, that's we only really talked about the negative. Are y'all subbing day one? Fuck no. No? No. I'm asking. I have, I well, I'm not either. I, Is there a reason? I didn't mean to be a hostile. I don't, hey, I don't I know. Like, well, maybe I'm missing out on something. No, weird. just because, like. <laughs> they control everything. Realistically, <laughs> <Disney>. <laughs> realistically, like, Hulu, Disney, ESPN. Amazing package. Um, Hulu, I already have Hulu. Disney, um, I fucking hate Disney. Um,. You it, hate it, Disney? I mean... You I, hate Mickey Mouse? I hate Disney's business practices. I'll say that. Can't argue with you there. Um, Disney, the only thing I care about watching Disney-wise is going to be Star Wars. I'll watch that when it comes out in theaters. And then ESPN. Um, Star Wars? I don't know yeah, dick so about sports. Star Wars? Marvel? Yeah. Marvel? Star Wars has been trash. Nothing for the Marvel universe? What? The last yeah, two Star Wars? I gotta admit, it has been... And I'm a Dark Horse. Dark Horse I mean, fan. yeah. Maybe not Dark Horse. I think the the problem is, 
it's it, Star Wars. How so could you're gonna you possibly, watch it anyway? how could you possibly live up to the expectations of Star Wars? No, it's just mm, bad. It's, it's really bad. No, it was just My bad. thing with it is like all right. Is so Star Wars actually you really, really that, that good? Bad, I'm not well, gonna there watch. you go. How do you like I didn't watch. If you don't like Star Wars. I like Star you. Wars. Star I do. Wars. I do. The best thing I like about Star Wars before the fucking new movies, before Disney bought it, yeah. was that everything was fucking canon. Yeah. yeah. And I thought it was fucking crazy that everything, everything connected was, to yeah, the movies, yeah, the yeah, books, the yeah. video games, the comics, the whatever, the movies. That I seen movies Disney are, bought it. it all connected. And then Disney bought it, threw it out the window. I said, like, whatever. They done good with the Marvel series ish. Yes. They yeah, they're good they in the Marvel series. I'm sure Star Wars is going to be at least good. Yeah. The only good thing they've dropped, in my opinion, was uh, Rogue One. Rogue One was dope. Rogue One was Rogue really One was good. great. For yeah, the record, I'm awesome. not the biggest Star Wars fan, mm-hmm. but like, I I went in with extremely low expectations. And I did the second movie. I thought I thought it was pretty good. Se- I mean, this is coming from someone who is very unfamiliar with the lore of Star Wars. Um, I don't care about none of that, bro. It's just not good to me. Yeah, like the it's first just, one, their own episode. I mean, seven that, that's that. a very popular. Opinion. I think that they would have been, in my opinion, better off just remaking episodes no, three, four, and five. No, because no, if you think no, I say no, that. No. With today's graphics, how many, mo- no, how many movies no, are they remaking? No, no. Alright, hit me out though. Hit me out. Let me get 30 more minutes. Alright, 30, 30 seconds. Minutes. Maybe, on, maybe two on. minutes. But like, episode seven. No. Episode seven, right? That came out, what, three years ago? That was a remake. That was a remake yeah. of, of A New Hope. Yeah. That was a remake. It really everything, was. everything. From, was from, the, from the loner in this desert, desert, planet who scavenges for shit to finding a robot from space that has a message to keeping it away from clones you know the the troopers Mm -hmm. to finding being chased by them to finding a fucking to finding the fucking mal the the malcolm x Mm -hmm. the the falcon (laughs) the uh what's that shit called (laughs) millennium falcon Falcon. 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 they found the same ship it's it's so it's a remake. Yeah. Without really that's even really seeing really that it's a I remake. Did not even. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. So like the second one, I didn't think it was that great. I didn't think it was, it was bad. terrible. If the you ask not that okay, great, I will say that like it was so horrible. It was so stupid that scene with Princess Leia where she's flying uh, oh space. my she's, god she's like pulling herself through worthy moments. it was so bad like i get that it was an homage to um it looked yeah, bad her, too like the actress it, but she her name escapes me she did die in the movie no she didn't die in the movie oh well, she didn't no, no. she's Damn, still alive <laughs> They everyone thought they were gonna kill her off That's what because I she died. Like Rest Paul in Walker peace. Moment, but they wasn't. brought, they kept her alive, and then. So with that being said, it looked bad too. Like it didn't look good when she yeah, was flying through space. The yeah, best part horrible. of the movie is when they, that shit hyperdrive through the other shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, shit that was, was dope. Yeah. <laughs> I liked the scene at the end where Luke like tricked Kylo. I like that. I know that ev- hey, like girl. literally everyone except for me was like, "This is fucking terrible." That and anyone who is watching this is gonna be like, "This guy's a fucking." I feel idiot. bad for the real Star Wars fans the most yeah, because yeah, Luke, yeah. in like the books and stuff, he's like the best Jedi they in the fucking that, existence. Like he's yeah. like top dog, and now he's kind of just this old trashy guy who. Let this Old. kid he was training kill everybody in his yeah. fucking school. <laughs> like, come the on. The ones. Yo. Um, <laughs> but with all that being said, that's my pitch to these three being remakes. No. To the original. Remakes. I'm just saying, that's my I pitch. I don't want remakes. But think about it with today's. With today's. They have to find new actors. Remakes to Lion Kings and this shit. Lion King and Mulan was, was. And this shit. Lion King was that, average, bro. Okay, Lion King but this deems, like it used to. you don't think it deems a remake? Like, with today's technology. I think the sequels were the right choice. I just think they've been bad sequels. So they're not the right I choice? I think that Disney... <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. 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 I
saying? No, bro. <laughs> just bad writing. It's just been bad writing, bro. I think that because Disney owns it, they have, it's not to write to us. They have like an obligation to make it extremely family oriented and yeah, like that's such fine such too. like a feel good film that they can't give it that gritty like. That's kind what of was like the best feeling. about the old ones too. Yeah, yeah. like you felt like um, Empire Strikes Back when they like. When that movie ended, you're like, shit, we like, lost. Damn, mm. we lost. Fucked. The bad guy, the bad guys won, and we lost. You mm. know what yeah. I mean? And, I, and it had that feel like, yo, these two series, you could die like that. Same yeah. thing that, with the there episode. weren't that many slapstick jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. you know what I mean. I'm cool with the jokes too. I just, I think sometimes it's not the right time. I think the, that's the I kind of like the bad. characters. Yeah, I like uh, what's the girl's name, Ren. What's her name? Yeah, yeah, Ren. Ren. I like her for the most part. Um, I I don't hate Kylo. I know a lot of people don't fuck with him, He's but kind I never pussy, bro. I think. But like a psycho. It's because he has a thing. troubled past. But like a like, psycho. I think his character. I think his, it's just written poorly, man. But I, as a character, I see what they were trying to do. Yeah. You think casting? Poorly. No, I don't think he's that bad. I, I think he's a pretty decent actor. He's I don't, a good actor. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I think it's just bad writing. Yeah, yeah. and it can't really do nothing. Nah, like that. it's horrible. I won't. I won't go watch the third one in theater. I will wait. I will. I, I won't I'll I'll wait to be theater. disappointed. But uh, like Disney, though, uh, going back on top of it, like Disney is very like um, they're buying everything up. Oh yeah. And I mean like ESPN, I like watching the fights. You know what I mean? So they they got that now on the ESPN Plus Hulu. Never had Hulu, but I I imagine you go watch movies and TV shows. In it, and yeah, then you got the movies. Disney Plus whatever. So they're gonna have their own shows, all of their movies in there. Yeah. So that, as a as a father of three, that's an appeal for mm-hmm. me, my demographic. You yeah, know what absolutely. I mean? it's just my demographic. Like, uh, and then at thirteen dollars, mm-hmm. not a bad price. It already beats HBO. It seems like Netflix is going more like they want more originals and other TV shows now. So I think more people are starting to move to Hulu. Hulu anyways yeah, yeah. because lately we've been watching Hulu more than Netflix likewise Netflix we don't really <coughs> mess with anything and the only time we mess with the originals is somebody telling us it's good so like Stranger Things I didn't watch it at first until people said it oh it was great then I watched Stranger Things I same thing with Black much. Mirror yeah, yeah I watched it because I don't got cable though I don't have cable and, either. Like, um, I had, but there's nothing on cable. But my kids be up. So when my kids is up, I ain't watching nothing like crazy. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then when they go to bed, it's like, I can watch it now, but I probably just start gaming. Mm-hmm. But, um, I'm gaming over anything. Damn, you have brought something up. what I have up. to change. You brought something up. What'd you bring up before? Was it Star Wars related? No, nah, no, nah, it was after that. You had said something. <laughs> Hulu, something about Hulu. Hulu's more TV shows. I lost it. Like, because Netflix is doing more original shit. Oh, Netflix. Yeah, yeah, So, um, I think Pete was telling me that Netflix plans on um, dropping a bunch of, like, superhero shows now. Mm-hmm. But They'd not, not Marvel and not DC-related, just their own superhero shows. Was it their... Who was writing those everybody? Marvel stories? Was it actual Netflix. Marvel writers? No, it was Netflix. I think it was all the Netflix thing. So they could probably do pretty well. I think they can. I think they can. Like, sure. Like Amazon trying to do it too. <coughs> so they do. They do. do it. They the do boys. Hmm. The boys. I haven't finished Amazon? watching it, but I liked it. My bad. I keep. I keep. Kind of like how gritty it is. If that makes sense. Nah. Yeah. I. I wish a lot more superhero movies were grittier, mm-hmm. like yeah. rated R. More like a realistic. TVMA, like, like, I mean, beat the shit out. Not, not necessarily realistic, blind, but like. like yeah, you know where it's mean? like it feels like real world real, type yeah. superhero, yeah, like, yeah. like a superhero dropped into real life yeah. type yeah. situation. I would love that. That's all I hope. Y'all ever think DC's gonna pull their head out of their asses? Cause them DC movies are trash. Might be better than Star Wars still though. I didn't think Aquaman was that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was alright. I mean, they ruled the, like the animated movies. The, the animated is movies. so fire. Yeah. It don't even make. sense. Since but I'm like, yeah, that live action Marvel, I, it's I, I'm a DC guy. Yeah. It, it, super, but it, it I'm more of an image comics guy. Image comics, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> image comics. <laughs> but it, it, it pays that, for me to say, but Spawn. Marvel definitely <laughs> does a better job. Yeah, with the yeah. live action, yeah. like hands, it's hands down. down, like yeah. Anybody that deny that is just in denial. Um, yeah, they should be shot. I hope so, man, because DC has some really good. 
comics and just really good material to make live action shit with. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like, yeah. <coughs> yo, I so know. we gotta we gotta talk about this before I forget. Yes. You saw the top fifty rappers list. Oh, this is where I step out. <laughs> he said, well, my boy said, ASAP Rock's not on it. So like, obviously Rocky. it's trash. I'm on here, ASAP Rocky. <laughs> no, uh, ASAP. Ice JJ Fish should have been in all 50 spots. Honestly, Ice JJ Fish. Something <laughs> about you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, so, Lewis, you're a hip hop head. How do you feel about this talk? How do you feel about Budden being number three? Budden being number three lets me know everything I need to know <laughs> about the guy who's picking the artist. <laughs> Not in a disrespectful way, but like just seeing the top 20, I'm like, all right, this dude's got to be from New York or Jersey. <laughs> Not, uh, if I bet my money, he's coming from one of those two states or just the North area in general. Um... Likes his battle, likes it. He's definitely in a 90s and 2000s type of rap mm-hmm. artist kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Definitely from the city somewhere. And like, um, likes his battle raps and he likes that type because to have Joe Budden on there, he's a one hit wonder, uh, except for the underground. You know what I mean? We know his hits and back and at, forth. At first, I kind of thought it was maybe talking about like relevance because Joe Budden is pretty relevant right now. It, with this I podcast going that. on, yeah. mm-hmm. but Nas kind of throws that off because I don't think Nas is as relevant as. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah not, not number two relevant. Right, right. On this list, I'm not saying he's irrelevant, but he's not. Uh, name the top five for me, real quick. The on this yeah, list yeah, was Jay Z, Nas, Joe Budden, Styles P, Black Dot. Where's Black Dot from? Black Dot is um. Black Dot. That's not Mos Def. No, I'm tripping. That's um, um Black Thought. I'm trash. I'm so trash right now. Um, cause because Black Thought is dope as fuck, but I don't listen to him like top that. Top four, but you he's mentioned. In the group. He's in the roots. Okay, so that's New York. That's um. I only didn't know that question because you okay. asked me on the spot. So top five. He's rap, from Philly. The, the top. Oh yeah, yeah, the roots, Philly. Okay, so I mean, top four, all New York rappers. Mm-hmm. And then the top five, top fifty. Philly. Is, you know. What I mean? Six fast from New York, no. Who? Fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Jada's New York. Big is New York. Ghostface is New York. Yeah. Kendrick is LA. I, yo, I feel like they be putting Kendrick too high on this list. I bet you he's probably like my age. Who? Whoever did that shit. Oh, probably. It sounds like a lot of people I listen to in my day. I don't hate the list, though, to be real. It's just the placement. Like, if it's a top... If it's just... Well, it's a top 50. So, it's I mean, 50. he got number one and two and three is clear as day. Mm-hmm. But if it was just like names thrown out there, I don't think it'd be such a big deal. I don't hate the list, and I think you Budden could make arguments three. for where some people are. But is Budden Kid is on three. There? Kid Rock is not on there. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm upset. She never Lush, know. She Lush wasn't on there. You never know what this list. Motherfucking she. Scarface. See, I don't. I don't. Uh. I kind of like that it got the conversation going again, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, Scarface is nice, but I don't feel like he's top 50. But right. then again, I haven't sat down and put names up So, there. Ebro, Ebro in the morning list. I liked his better. Jay-Z, Big, Nas, Andre 3000, KRS-1, Kendrick, J. Cole, Tupac, Rakim, Eminem number 10. I'm not going on. And Prodigy was in there on the Prodigy team. Prodigy was right? 11. My nigga Prodigy. R.I.P. I yes. think this list is trash, too. Mm. Prodigy nah, is amazing. Huh? It's just same. I can actually... Get some input. Prodigy is amazing. Yeah, Prodigy is really good. Like, like yeah. holy shit! I he was, was supposed, he was supposed to play at Rockville, um, this back in May, but mm-hmm. he, you know, he passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, well, the best so. man. Damn good crazy. Artist. He was young too. Yeah. I love the stories. To, yeah. He had them audio stories and yeah. shit on um, Netflix. Mm-hmm. I mean, on on uh, YouTube. And bro, like he would paint these stories. He would just talk about them, and you'd be like. You feel like you're there, like it's crazy. Yeah, it's wild. He was good at that shit. Yeah, with his That's like a lot of these lists, you can definitely argue. I feel like you can argue. Yeah. A lot it's of people are saying this shit is stupid. Definitely, but I feel like you can. People are just they're so quick to knock somebody off a list. Like I'm like, yeah. First of all, it's like their list. list. <clears throat> I feel like a list like that should take you 
a few a days to like yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. put together. Absolutely. You need to set up like a board <laughs> and then you need to set up. And a lot of that shit. And and it's it's a, a lot of your choices are based off your emotions. Like, because there's days like, I, like now I want to listen. Mm-hmm. I don't want to listen to no slow. Like, you might be in the mood and listen to somebody like some, like, um, from Atlanta, uh, uh, G.I. No, 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 the newer dude, the mumble rapper guy who started that shit, um, Lil Pump, Migos, Kendrick, uh, Lil Xan, Hendrix, 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 um, he goes Purple Codeine, Hendrix, um, you know who I'm talking about, Future, Future, sometimes you want to, like, sometimes I'm in the mood to hear some ignorant shit like Future, yeah, 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 and then like sometimes like some days I'm just like I want to listen to a message like somehow so I listen to mm-hmm. the pod or I listen but some days I like so know, I feel like you can't depends. throw a list out there yeah, without yeah. setting the like you said the parameters like okay so top 50 rappers in what is it lyrics is yes. it irrelevant is punch it punch hits lines, is it punch battle rap is it slow yeah. rhymes slow rhymes cause some people I mean, flow be trash yeah, those but, are the biggest ones Rock, Rock Kim literally created a form of poetry yeah he really did literally he, he did like he that, created no. a form of poetry I don't remember what the really? specific name is anymore but I did a research on him he created a form of poetry that right there is like dude in terms of that's skill amazing. and relevance, that's almost like number one. Like well, you should do that. Like to some me, of my one. favorite stuff. To but listen. he wasn't that. He was only hot for a little minute, yeah, yeah, and then he yeah, fell yeah. away off. Yeah, He's yeah. still alive. Right, People right. put him on a list. He's still alive, but nobody listening to his shit. No yeah, yeah. Plus fifty is a lot. Fifty is a yeah. Lot. That is a lot. Yeah, yeah, probably be more like twenty. Yeah. That is a lot. Uh, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Because that's easier to narrow down. Because it's like, what's that's the difference between the 37th yeah, place like, and the 47th place? And obviously, that, that's not really including any underground rappers. Nah. Which like, cannabis would still be up there for me. Like, one Flatbush of them. Zombies. Yeah. yeah. Flatbush Zombies. That was another the thing. They nice, There's so. nobody older than yeah. J. Cole, I think, on there. Right, right. Earl and I was like, what about Joy? Earl Sweatshirt was not on there. I said, so what? Earl Sweatshirt, people say he's one of the better. I'm saying this guy's got to be like my yeah. age around that age. Same thing with like, Ebro's list, though. I've been listening to the newest Like, shit. Ebro's oldest person on his list, I'm pretty sure it's J- probably J. Cole or Kendrick. I don't know. The, or maybe Wa- who's I don't know if Wale's older. But Wale's, been, Wale, Wale's been around longer than J. Wale, Cole. He got Wale in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, oh, he's bugging. I think Wale could be up there. He's like in the 40s. I think that's arguable. Of all time, that's the thing, though. You gotta. No, he's not in the forty, bro. He's not in the fifty. Like I would like to. And yo, he's we got around my way, and I got love for the guy, but no, he's not. Like we should. He don't got them hits. Number one, that's, don't got but does hits matter? Like, yeah, I mean, it's got like to some extent. It has to, like, all right, no, because cannabis is in my list. He's yeah. definitely up there, but like he's. A, He's an MC. He's a rap. Like you know. So what I'm top saying? MCs and top rappers, in my opinion, would be a whole different yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Conversation. You're right. Drake don't hit top fifty either. Though. Right. Drake would not be in any of those lists. <laughs> he's, he's, not, a, he's a rap he's a hip hop artist. artist. Now, if we talking hip hop, he would be up there. But if we talking rap, MC, we talking lyrics, we talking Drake. Talking, you gotta write your own shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what he wrote, what he didn't wrote. So, so even Lil Wayne might not be in my list because he don't write all his shit. What about Lil Dicky? Look, that's another thing. He's kind of nice, he's funny bro. As shit. But he's nice. He's, yeah, he's, he's weird, but in and a good way. And he freestyles off way, the like, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that shit is nice. Have you guys ever heard of DNA? The uh, freestyling? I don't mm-hmm. think I've heard of him. He's nice with it. I haven't heard any of his new stuff lately, but he he um I saw him on Sway. Mm-hmm. And like he actually freestyled. Like yeah. they have topics or they, they talk about certain things and it's just like That's rapping. a dime. That's, that's, that's so another much. thing. Like that's can people can they actually favorite. freestyle? Yeah. That's one of I don't think favorite. Kendrick can freestyle. That really sets really? you apart. I don't think he can freestyle that great. That takes so much skill. You and you have to hey, be God. fucking sharp. I don't think he can freestyle. I don't think he can freestyle better than a, like one time he had a freestyle, I was like, Oh, that shit hard. Then I found out it was a written. And that kinda loses you yeah, like lose yeah, all my points when I yeah. find that out. But that's bro. a lot of things now. That's been a lot of the way since. If you're not fucking ten years now, like it's not the same no more. Like that's it's, so it depends, bro. You gotta set parameters. You gotta set, 
And then we got to know what we're talking. We talking about MCs. We talking about rappers. I would like. There's to a do, huge difference. I would like to do a list of rappers or MCs before they went commercial. Their body of work before they went hmm. commercial, making lady songs. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, before they, yeah. they like they're stuck. That's all. Because that's maybe, what makes them. That's what signed them. Like you know. I think I mean? you should like okay take. They number one, not number one album, but they best, best album. Compare that body of work, and that's how you set your list. Because for me, Biggie and Pac, I mean Biggie and uh, Jay Z have to be one and two. For me, for me, because they never wrote shit down. Yeah, this is crazy. That shit blows my what? fucking mind. Wait, and if you listen to, especially Big's music and Jay Z, Jay Z literally, but Big's they music, play a beat. And Jay Z will it, rap something. The beat will go on, and yeah. they just follow the beat, and then their heads, they're coming up with the lines, and they're playing it over in their heads. And they said yeah. that the, um, the, these famous like producers and shit, um, would fucking be there, and they'd be like, "Yeah, they just sit there, walking back and forth, mumbling shit, just mumbling, yeah, no, 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 no. just spitting stuff." And because they got what, songs what where, where Biggie and Jay Z together mm. on Brooklyn's Finest, I think it was called. Crazy song, bro. But That's a talent, talent, bro. They just Absolutely. go in there. That, the, like, the you have to be so fucking there. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. They remember this shit, and then they lay it down. They go over a couple times if they have to. Like, J- Jay's earned it, nicknamed the one take, one take Jay. Mm-hmm. Z- yeah, he just yeah, goes yeah. in there and does his shit in one take, and then comes out the way it mm-hmm. is. Like, um, wow. Vince Staples doing that out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one take Jay. Yo, it's crazy, like. The talent that, that that's what I mean. It's, that's not really freestyling, but the the fact that you could it yeah, is yeah, kind yeah. of freestyling because you're thinking it's of it right extent. there, but you keep it in your memory yeah. and you just play it over. It's like it. structured freestyle. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. It's exactly. probably the best way to put it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I just I don't know. I, this this gotta be there's gotta be a, a better way to do it. Just throw up a list, and I, again, I think the best way probably like, okay, take those fifty. 50 artists, well, how many artists ever you think deserves to be on a list? Take their best project. Maybe not even their best project. Maybe their best three songs. I think that based on that list, judging whoever's list it is, Mm -hmm. not just ours, but anybody, you could, I think that... You're going to throw your favorite person in there. Absolutely, that's no doubt. But Mm -hmm. I think that you can kind of narrow down the age bracket. Yeah, by of whoever the thought the list. Making the Cause list. Cause I think Jordan Lucas should be on a, a top fifty. I think I don't know about Logic. I think it's you can find you can find a reason to put him on there. I think I I think Logic over a uh, Joyce, but depending on what you put, yeah, depending yeah. on what you. Yeah, I I think fucking there was a, other people I had. Big Sean ain't on none of these fucking lists. And that shit makes me. Big Sean, I don't know if he makes my 50. Big but Sean. 50 is a lot of people. Big Sean has proven to rap better than Drake. And Drake's a good rapper, even though he doesn't write his own shit. He's a good singer. He's a good rapper, too, when he gets down. He gets busy sometimes. But is he rapping? But though? Big Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sean is out rap Big Sean or Drake on at least two or three songs. And two, he's out rap Kendrick on at least. Holy Key. Which one was Holy Key? That was a DJ Khaled song. Hmm. Um, I don't know, man. Big Sean. He's I not, think he he's not bad. Top, I think he should. He be, might be top fifty. I think he should be up there with Kendrick and uh, J Cole. Oh, but I don't think they should be. I don't know. About I don't that. think they should be top ten. I don't think he should be that far. The other thing I didn't like with these lists is Eminem is below J Cole and Kendrick, and I think that's fucking. I agree. Wild. I agree. I agree. I think that's fucking wild, bro. Especially because I like battle rappers. So Eminem probably still has more hits than both of them. He definitely he a better, a different, better freestyle. I don't want. He was definitely a better freestyle, but was he a better musician? What you mean? Like dropping songs. Then he broke. Because he had a like rap right, guy broke records, but bro. he had a different demographic too, though. Like when he came out, he I'll was like. Kendrick fans are white kids. No, nah, I'm talking about him. I thought you were talking about him. Yeah, it's all my kids. Oh, yeah. Kendrick. All his biggest fans are white kids. That's why Disney let him on. Lamar Kendrick? Hmm? Lamar yeah. Kendrick? Oh, well, I don't doubt that one bit. That's uh, why Disney very, got him on the Black Panther album. He's a very album. articulate. He's smart, though. Like, you know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, the way he structures him, the way he does things is a very calculated, like, mm-hmm. smart way, smart approach. 
on how he goes or does things. Like, you never see him in trouble. So yeah. it gives him the ability to hop on do? Disney and, and be a Disney. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, what they gotta do with anything, though? I'm saying, like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I kind of lost my train of thought. Where are we going with that? But You don't think... M is fucking. No, no, I do. No, M is nasty. But oh, like, yeah, yeah. I, like I always tell, like I always tell people, I'm like, M was. I'm not taking anything away from M. He's had some fucking lines, but I feel like it was easier. Like we never saw a white rapper. I mean, we have Vanilla Ice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we never had a real rapper who kill people on fucking yeah. you know, murder. Like that, fucking yeah. Down into it with that. So it was like it was like. Black people, everybody was. So I remember seeing him like, oh, white guy, and then, who is this guy? And he rapped real fast, and it was like, bro, he was a movement. Oh yeah. yeah. Like the 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 pe- yo, cause he had black people, Spanish people, all sorts of people, and white people. Mm-hmm. Though. Like that was the big, cause like a lot white people listened to rap, mm-hmm. but not like when M and M got on there, it. shit. Right when M got on there, he was winning awards and he was killing it. You know what I mean? And it was just... It was a perfect storm. If you will. You know what I mean? Like... Mm. His brother... That that era... What was that? Like 97? 90s. I don't know what year. 96? 97? I remember seeing him playing football in fourth grade and seeing Mm. him in the MTV Awards with the fucking overall. (laughs) The Gene overalls and shit. With the prison... With the prison... Bro, man. That that shit was crazy. Yeah. I... I... <laughs> okay, I think he was uh, way better than people were putting him on the list, and I just didn't understand. Definitely why. top ten at least. Top yeah, 10, at, at, least, least, at least, man. Yeah. And, and no matter what, where you what you list, and if you're talking hits, I almost want to say lyrics, top five. But maybe at least it's arguable. top ten, though. For sure. If you're talking hits and you're talking lyrics, he's got to be top ten in, in any category. 10. Yeah, yeah, definitely top ten. MC, whatever. Definitely. But uh, I think that's it. That's it. Uh, how long we got, bro? This is long. Hour shit. thirty. It was long. We had to make up for the fucking weeks we missed. Yes, the one week. So, uh, yeah. Where they? Uh, y'all doing anything? Like, where these guys find you guys? Are, are you guys on Twitter yet? You guys on Facebook? Are you streaming it? Yet? You can find me on MySpace. Um, <laughs> AOL. Yeah. Still your girl. Aim. Um, Earthlink. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what is. Dig? Do you know? No, 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 no. You lost me with some of these, bro. Yeah. I what is myself. Dig? That sounds like a dig bad this shit out of here. D-I-G-G. That was like an old ass, like, 4chan type website. We gonna dig that bullshit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yo, fuck, subscribe. I'm gonna start putting these Shout on out. SoundCloud. So hopefully yes. that shit's on there by the end of the week. Um, uh, all, hopefully all three episodes. Um... Next week, we throw some more topics. We don't know what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk shit like we always do. Leave some comments. Give Leave us some comments. fucking comments. Give us topics to speak about. Comments yes. over likes. Yes. Subscribe right. if you like. But comments. If you subscribe, definitely leave me a comment. And tell me what you think we could do better. And tell me what you think. Was this about the conversation 